Hello everyone. I hope you're all well. And here we are for another JL Facebook Live. Don't forget to give me a wave, say hello. And during this chat, we can always ask a question. I love questions. <laughs> so this time of year, what's happening is your skin is starting to dry out. I'm sure lots of people have got this going on right now. So a third of women have actually got dry skin naturally, which is amazing, a third. So what's happening just now, it's because it's winter and we've got the central heating on in the houses, offices, wherever, and that's drying the air up. So what is actually occurring is that the air's getting dry and that is making your skin really look for water. Your skin is breathing all the time and it needs water to keep it feeling good and healthy. So with this dry air, it's the same thing when you go on a plane on a long haul journey and we know this when you go on a plane and the air there's very low humidity, low moisture in the air and your skin feels really dry at the end of the journey unless you're glugging away at the water and smothering on lots of moisturiser. So that's probably the key. So this time of year and also in drier climates you get this low humidity where um, there's very low moisture in the air and that's causing a, a real cause of dry skin. Have you got dry skin? Anyone out there? I had a client today that I was talking to, a skin consultation today, and this was her concern. She had dry skin, flaky skin. So dry skin, does it feel sensitive? Is it quite pink, red, tight? Does it feel tight? Um, is it itchy? That's a good one. I've got a husband with a very itchy forehead and that's because of the dry skin. I'll come back to that later. So have you got that? Is anyone watching that's got dry skin? You know, you can say to me, yes, I've got dry skin and ask me what's what's happening here. Um, so the thing is, when you have got dry skin, flaky skin, you want to scratch it. Okay, you want to scratch it to ease this itchiness and that is an absolute no no you can't scratch your skin right you scratch your skin and you can actually make it more sensitive more sensitized and you can scratch right down and you can actually you know if you scratch right through the epidermis you can scar your skin you know so no scratching it really doesn't i know you want to scratch because it helps but it really won't so Anybody got dry skin, please ask me. So long hot baths and showers are not good if you've got dry sensitive skin. And um, this is the causes of it. Hormonal changes can cause dry skin. Overwashing and scrubbing skin. Okay, I'm always like never, you know. Also heavy pressure. Don't use heavy pressure to stimulate dry skin. It can make it worse. Strong soaps. Okay, this is a big thing for me about um, if you're using soap and especially if you're still using soap and water on that gorgeous facial skin <laughs> you know you've really got to stop that I've got a great cleanser that I'll tell you about again foaming cleanser that gives you the same nice feel if it's for sensitive dry skins but soap strong soaps really do dry the skin out a good one to use is dove soap on the body dove soap because it's pH balanced Okay, and you're not affecting the skin barrier. You produce this amazing barrier um, on your skin to protect your skin from the environment. And hi, Kathleen. I'm looking forward to seeing you at Girls Day Out as well. First and second of December. You're going with your two daughters. Or well, make sure you come up and say hi. <laughs> um, I'm looking forward to meeting you in person. So... I'm all excited about Girls Day out in Glasgow. Sunday has sold out apparently, so this is a wee, a wee thing. Anybody still looking for tickets for Girls Day out Saturday? It's on Saturday, Sunday, the 1st of December. Come and see. Hi, Joan. <laughs> I'll give you a skin consultation. No problem. So, has your skin become dry all of a sudden? I've said that it's about this time of the year. The, the winter is really here in Scotland and UK generally, and that's causing this shock to skin. So what's what's occurring right now is that the heating's on, it's drying the air up in the house, okay? Remember, your mum, or my mum did, used to have a bowl of water 
I think she actually put an onion in it as well. I think that's because that's got a bacterial effect. But she used to put it under the radiators in the house. You know, all those old tips really did work. All those old things that your granny and your mum used to do. So, Kathleen, remember if you've got any questions, please ask me. I can answer them just now. So feel free. Um, so how to manage dry skin. Okay, dry skin, it's... Number one is moisturised. You've got to moisturise dry skin. You've got to drink water, lots of water. You know, we're always aiming for that two litres a day. And there's, especially just now, you think it's the summer you're going to need all that water, wouldn't you? When you think, oh, I'm going to drink lots of water during the summer and it seems easier then. But actually, the winter is when you need it to create the water, up the water content in your skin. Remember when you've got moisturised skin, you look younger. Mm -hmm. You look younger. So I'm getting more exfoliating cleanser in the first week in December, Kathleen. I was talking about it today and I know that exfoliating cleanser is my, oh, my best selling cleanser. Um, but have you tried, Kathleen, have you tried this? The foaming cleanser is amazing. So foaming cleanser is great. It doesn't have the same exfoliation as the exfoliating cleanser and I'm going to talk a little bit about it but the foaming cleanser is great for this time of year to stop your skin drying out and really it's it's my go-to holiday one wherever you go on holiday this is the holiday one but right now it's great for dry sensitive skin but Kathleen first week in December I'll be emailing you saying no oh, got it back in <laughs> got it in stock so Drink lots of water, getting it back to it. I'm going to still nag you. Hope you're listening, Kathleen. Um, look for SLS free product. You know, the thing about it is, is even those hand sanitizers that we get, we're all mad. You've got everything great, Kathleen. I'm glad you have. I'm glad you have. That's great. Um, so going back to the SLS, listen Kathleen, SLS free, you've got to try and be that for your body as well, okay, because we want to have great skin all over, we need to keep this water content coming up, so look for products, you know, Holland and Barrett, that's where I get a shower gel, um, a bubble bath with SLS free, sodium l'oreal sulfate free, because the sodium l'oreal sulfate, the SLS dries the upper layer of the skin out, dries the water content, it gets, you know, that's the, the thing about it. When you've got dry skin, don't forget when it opens up, think about the bricks in the wall again. It opens up, right? And the dry skin, your water content can come out of the skin itself. It's called transepidermal water loss. That's a good one for you, Kathleen. Transepidermal water loss occurs in dry skin. And what we've got to do is close these, the cells, the dead skin cells up at this time of year to keep your own water, lock your own water content in. Okay, so SLS free, Dove Soap's pH balance, another Joni trick, right? Every day when I have a bath, I do like to put on baby oil on dry skin before I go into the bath. So baby oil on, mm -hmm, massage into the skin, into the bath, and then have your bath as normal or your shower, whatever you have. But the baby oil, that helps the skin to stop drying out when you come out and you can dry yourself. Your skin really feels nice, even just with that baby oil on and you've showered it off and then come out. It really feels, give that a shot, that is really good. It doesn't need to be any make of baby oil, just baby oil it stops. It keeps your own moisture content locked in. Moisturise straight after the bath. It's always hard to do, isn't it? In our busy lives, when do we get the time? When do we get the time? But you have got to think of yourself. You've got this skin for the rest of your life. You've got to look after it. Okay? You've got to look after it. So, are you going to try that, Kathleen? Are you going to try the baby oil trick? I'm looking for a thumbs up. And Mr. Affleck, I see you watching too. Are you going to stop scratching that forehead? <laughs> I'm listening. I'm listening. Okay. Any more questions? So the final thing I'm always chatting to you about, eating well. Mm -hmm. And if you eat well, it shows on your skin. 
who was that person that was on TV? Um, you are what you eat and you are, you are what you eat. So great things to eat that contain omega-3, okay? Omega-3, salmon, one of Joni's favourites, salmon, walnuts, I love walnuts as well, mackerel. Okay, Kathleen, good, do try it, girl, do try it. Um, so salmon, mackerel, walnuts, tuna, these things you need to eat to get the oil content in your skin up, okay? And finally, rosehip seed oils in this. This is going to keep sensitised faces in good. So if you've got a sensitive skin or it's dry, this is a great cleanser to use. Lovely foaming cleanser. Okay, it comes out, smells gorgeous. Rosehip seed oil delivers vitamin A to the skin, so it makes skin healthy. It's like a vitamin infused foaming cleanser for your skin. It's lovely. So that's foaming cleanser. Super moisturizer, okay, feeding your skin with that hyaluronic acid, the super moisturizer. Okay, putting that onto skin, putting hyaluronic acid into skin, that's going to a lot moisture in, but also hyaluronic acid keeps moisture in and attracts a thousand times its own weight in water. That's why it's so good. It's such a great ingredient, hyaluronic acid, super moisturiser. And right now, the runners, the outdoor people, um, the golfers, the dog walkers, <clears throat> I'm a dog walker, um, having the essential moisture okay so you would if you want to layer you can layer put on the super moisturizer let that absorb thoroughly into skin and then you've got essential you only need a tiny drop of essential essentials like a silk it's a silky oil and it really feeds your own skin with plant lipids that's a real fantastic serum for dry sensitized skin especially if you go outside even for um, my friend Gina, who's into running now. Gina McKee, I hope you're listening. So great to put this on as a protective, your own, keeping your own moisture in your skin. And finally, this is one that my husband uses, because I make them. <laughs> uh, Miracle DNA. It's just an amazing, you can use Miracle DNA as your super moisturiser. Kathleen, have you tried this? Have you tried this? You said you've got everything. Have you tried this? This has got resveratrol in it. This is so good because resveratrol is a superstar antioxidant. It's going to prevent further damage. This is great. A great treat for people. It can be used as your moisturiser AM and PM. This also can be your night moisturiser. Think of it as a, a night cream. And if you've got dry skin going on or... To me, I always think about it as an SOS. That's an SOS skin. If you've got the SOS skin type and you don't know, nothing's working, this is the thing to use. Super moisturiser. Um, what am I saying? Medical DNA. So you put it on and it's just lovely. And it's in this really gorgeous bottle. It's a really great prezi to give to someone as well. And medical DNA, smooth it on. Okay, it's a lovely cream. You can see it. It's absolutely gorgeous. And it really is super antioxidant, stops damage. Yes, Sandra, these products are great for mature skin. Great for mature skin. Um, they're all good for mature skin. Um, that's probably the one that you know you should have as a as a go-to a cream, AM um, moisturizer, PM moisturizer, neck cream. This does it all for mature skins, medical DNA, it's really lovely. During the daytime, a mature skin would benefit from hyaluronic acid. This super moisturizer, this is really good for it too, Sandra. But feel free, you can email me, Sandra, if you ever want a um, personalized skin you know, consultation, you can email me, joan at GL Formulations, and I can help you with that. But these are all super, and I can, tailor it to yourself if you email me. I hope that's helped everyone. Feel free always to ask questions. You can ask them after Facebook Live in the comments below and I will answer them, promise. Or you can email me, okay? And if you are close to 
Thank you, Kath. Thank you, Sandra. If you're close to a JL salon, because remember what we are good at is we have got salons that we are all trained in JL products and JL facials. And we've got those salons all over Scotland, JL um, salons, or signature salons. So you can absolutely email me. I'll tell you the closest one so you can go to a JL trained esthetician who's really trained in skin. Okay, so have a great week, everyone. Take care and look after that skin. Bye. Thank you for watching my video today. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more skin tips.